ever stop to ponder how true love has the power to banish all fears from our hearts? Today, we will unravel this thought through the lens of God's Word. First, let's join our hearts in giving praise and thanks to our Heavenly Father. It is in His boundless grace that we find the strength and wisdom to navigate our lives. Our scripture today comes from 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, which states, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. In this passage, John, the apostle of love, speaks to us about the transformative power of divine love. This isn't about human affection. It's about the love that flows from God, a love that is selfless, sacrificial, and unconditional. This divine love was exemplified in Jesus Christ and his ultimate sacrifice. John contrasts love with fear, not the reverential fear of God, but the fear associated with judgment and condemnation. This fear is rooted in sin and an anticipation of divine retribution. But John assures us that perfect love, the love that comes from God, dispels all such fears. This brings us to a pertinent question. How does this message resonate in our lives today? Are we living in fear, constantly anxious about judgment and punishment? Or have we embraced God's love, allowing it to liberate and transform us? This love is not just a personal comfort, it's a call to action. We are encouraged to live out this love in our relationships, offering forgiveness, acceptance, and embodying the same unconditional love that God has shown us. In a world riddled with fear, fear of the unknown, fear of others, fear of failure, we, as followers of Christ, are called to be beacons of God's perfect love. Let this love guide us, casting out fears and bringing peace and joy to our hearts and to those around us. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we are eternally grateful for your perfect love, a love that frees us from fear and fills our hearts with peace. Guide us to not only bask in your love, but also to share it with the world around us. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray, amen. May the peace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Until we meet again, May you walk in his grace and love. God bless you all.